According to a fairly recent study in the Mayo Clinic proceedings, they did an extensive, extensive review of the health of our nation's healthcare professionals, doctors, nurses, etc. And you know what they found? It was fascinating. What they found is that amongst our healthcare professionals, the same, roughly the same rate of chronic disease was found amongst our healthcare professionals as in the general public, meaning heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity, etc. These same chronic ailments were afflicting our healthcare professionals at almost the exact same rate as they as the general public. This means our own healthcare professionals, the majority of our healthcare professionals, have not been successful at achieving health in their own life. Now, why am I saying that? Is it for judgment, criticism? Am I bringing this up to criticize healthcare professionals? No, no, no. I just want us to pay attention to that because all of us have a need for health. And if we're turning to people who are the professionals who have not learned how to do it in their own life, we may not be successful if we're trying to achieve health and we're emulating their example, following their protocols. Now, we have car. If you have a car, right, would you take your car? I want you to think about this. Would you take your car to a mechanic if you found out that the mechanic was walking to work because they did not know how to fix their own car? Yeah, why would you trust your own car to a mechanic that couldn't fix his own car, right? We wouldn't. You would never consider that mechanic to be credible. Yet we're told to trust the professionals, and yet the professionals, the majority of healthcare professionals, are completely unsuccessful at achieving health in their own lives. So here's what I would like to ask you to do. I want you to just pay attention. I'm not asking you to take a side and before this or against this, but I want you to pay attention to what the majority of our healthcare professionals are asking you to do. Are they sick or are they healthy? Pay attention to what the sick healthcare professionals, which is the majority of healthcare professionals, unfortunately, in this country, what are they asking you to do? Pay attention to it. Just pay attention. Now, I want you to also pay attention to what functional healthcare providers do. And what I mean by functional, there's a whole brand of healthcare providers that are called functional physicians or functional medical healthcare professionals, and they emphasize on the function of health. And they, they're doctors, they're well-qualified professionals, but they emulate, they actually first and foremost themselves are emulating their own message in their own life. And they, it actually works for them. They're healthy. You can find these folks. Pay attention to them. Pay attention to what they're asking you to do, the kind of lifestyle changes they're asking you to make. Pay attention to even how they are understanding and approaching this current healthcare situation the crisis we're facing in our country today. Pay attention to what they're taking, what they're not taking, the positions that they're, and I know it can be very difficult these days with all the control, but it is possible. Pay attention to functional healthcare professionals. What are they saying? What are they doing? Then pay attention to the sick healthcare professionals. What are they saying? What are they doing? Just pay attention. You will know what to do if you just pay attention.